In this video I'm going to show you the best drugstore matte cream eyeshadows and I'm also going to show you how you can use them to create an eye makeup look with it. Now my name is Melissa van Dijk, I'm a makeup artist so let's get started. So for the first cream matte eyeshadow, we are going to have a look at the Revlon Color Stay. Those have a various matte shades. Most of them have a light brown or a dark brown, but when it comes to the texture and how it applies, it definitely has a little bit more of a powder to cream texture, which you can be using with your fingers or with a brush, or you can combine finger and brush, which I personally also would recommend so that the blending is a little bit evener. Now with this matte shadow, you can either put it towards the outer corner and combine it with a shimmer through the crease or use this one alone on the main lid area. And I'm going to apply it on the main lid area so that you can see the color payoff and also how smooth it applies. Now keep in mind, this one is also a little bit drier but still has enough um, creaminess to it so that you're able to blend it. So the Revlon Cream Matte Eyeshadows have a powder to cream texture, which means that they're a little bit drier and you can apply it on the main lid area by using your finger. And this is also where you can also achieve an even coverage and the color payoff is amazing. Now one thing I also would recommend is that when you're going towards the crease and outer corner area, I definitely would recommend that you're going to use a brush. This can help you to really achieve a beautiful and even blend, where you later on won't notice any harsh edges and the color payoff is still beautiful. It's like a simple smoky eye. By only using this shade alone on the main lid area, you have already the look. Just add a bit of mascara, a bit of lipstick and that's already it. So for the next cream matte eyeshadow, we are going to look at the Kiko Long Lasting Eyeshadow Sticks and they have several shades that have a matte finish. For me personally and also how I like to use them, I like to go with brown tones. This one still has a very like little and thin sheen, which is still a matte shadow, but because of the creaminess and because it's a little bit richer, it's not as powdery like as the Revlon one, it also adds a little bit more of a sheen to it, but no shimmer. So those are really practical because you can use them specifically on an area that you want to create a liner with, outer corner or using it on the main lid area as well. Now I'm going to show you the color as well as also how it applies on the main lid area so that you also can see the best demonstration of it and also how it applies. And I'm going to start off by just using the sticks directly on my eyelid area. So the Kiko Milano Cream Matte Eyeshadow comes in a stick form, which makes it so easy to apply on a main lid area. And you definitely can also map out how far you want to bring the shade upwards and then start blending. Since they are a little bit more creamier, they aren't as drying as the Revlon one, you can easily use your finger for the padding motion as it's going to keep that creaminess. But also, if you feel like you want to soften the edges a bit more, you definitely can also grab a brush and then soften the edges. What I also do love about those thick eyeshadows is that you can use them alone, as I'm just demonstrating right here, or you can also keep it only towards a specific area and leave it there, and this is also where you're going to blend it. Now you notice that when I'm blending it with a brush, you can see that it's going to evenly blend out the color. But what I also do love is that you can layer the color on top if you want to have a little bit more opacity. So you have the blendability, but you also can layer them, which makes them so flexible. And here you can see that you can use those alone and you just will end up with an even blend. And so for the last cream matte eyeshadow, I went ahead and picked the Maybelline Color Tattoo Shadow. This one is in the color black. They do have a few other matte shadows. Specifically, I grabbed the black one for me because I like to use it as a liner. 
Now, why don't I pick the other ones for a liner? Well, there is a main difference. This one has a little bit more like a gel texture. So if you don't have a gel liner at home, but you may have also the Maybelline one or you wanna get it, then this one is definitely also great to create a liner with it. And it also won't, you, like, won't cost you a lot of money. Now, I personally like to also apply it with a very thin and precise brush, which I also like to use so that the liner application is even faster. So all what I do is coat the brush and then go ahead with the application. And so with the Maybelline Color Tattoo Cream Eyeshadow, what I do love about them is that they have the gel-like texture. So if you want something that's creamy, has that gel-like texture that's a little bit drying but not too dry, still has a really nice and matte finish, then this is definitely something for you. As I just demonstrated with the liner, that the opacity is also amazing. Like you can also go over it a few times and it won't lose the color underneath, but you can also build it up. And they do have also various shades. I just personally like to use the black one for the liner itself. And here you can see what the finished look looks like and how easy you can create a liner with it. Now those are definitely the top trees that I can recommend when it comes to finding the right cream matte eyeshadow. Now keep in mind that they have definitely a different texture and feel and also hope that I could help you to narrow down your choices so that you can find the right one for your eyelids. And I also do hope that you enjoyed this little demonstration as well as recommendation and I believe that those are definitely worth having a look at. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.